this video, you're going to learn my top three hip mobility exercises. Hip mobility is really important if you want to maximize performance and move well, take stress off your spine. Those hips are meant to move and so they should move well. These are my top three exercises to help mobilize the hips. So the first one is shin to shin. We're going to start both knees down, hands down behind you. Foot, bottom of the foot is packed into the opposite thigh. We're going to keep the feet in approximately the same place on the floor. They're just going to rotate across the floor and rotate to the other side. So we're coming through. You can do 10 to 20 repetitions here. To progress this, a couple variations. You can practice with one hand up, one hand down. And that's giving me a lot more stretch, not just in the hip, but through the rib cage as I rotate through there. Last one is taking both hands up. So deep breath in, it's gonna lengthen, reach, exhale through the movement, and then breathe in again. Exhale, reach through the movement so that I'm staying on balance there. The second hip mobility exercise is you have a, a rotation um, through the hip. So we're going to set up with feet shoulder width apart, standing up nice and tall. We're going to bring one leg up. From there, you may want to hold on to something. So if balance is a challenge or something that you really don't want to focus on while you're doing this drill, we want you focused in on the hip mobility. So right in that ball and socket joint, feeling that rotation happen through the hip. Obviously we'd go both directions, both sides, and then the next position we bring the leg up, abs up to the hip, up to the side, and then go through that similar pattern, both directions and both sides. The last one for the rotations is to bring the leg up, or so flex the knee, then we're going to internally rotate at the hip. So foot comes out to the side, hopefully you can see that with that angle, and then we're gonna start driving slight extension through the hip. So from this angle, probably see a little bit better. I'm trying to reach that knee back while maintaining that internally rotated hip position. That one's probably the most challenging of the three. Culturally, internal rotation is one thing that a lot of people start to lose or struggle with. So getting the hip in internal rotation and then driving into extension, I think is a really effective mobilization, probably really helpful for a lot of people with walking, with running, and just a lot of other things that we do in life. So, our uh, last one is an articular rotation. So we're gonna take the hip, kind of through a full range of motion here, bring the knee up, up to the side. Once it gets out here, we're gonna internally rotate again and then bring that knee back down, come back up, out to the side, internal rotation, trying to flare that foot up, and then bring the knee back down. Now obviously go in reverse, internal rotation, abduction, and then into adduction. So both sides, Again, hold on to something, stable object, especially if these are new to you, and especially if you want to stay focused more in that movement in the hip. Hope it helps. Give them a shot.